So today I'm going to show you some gear stuff that is totally secret, unobtainable knowledge. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what to do, what we're going to do here. But uh, first I want to tell you, so it's been like 20 some days since I did a video last. However, what I was doing during those days is um, I set up a long time ago, I set up another channel. If you go to the on my homepage to the very bottom, you'll see a thing that says Champion City. And I finally got that working. And that channel is meant to tell stories of all these characters that we build. Like, here's Brute. Brute's going to be our U50. And so I set up a channel called Champion City 194. And the purpose of that channel is to show some operations using our characters. And I set it to kid-friendly. That's why if you go to it, you'll find out that you can't leave comments on videos. Yeah, that's a rule that they have for if you set it to kid-friendly, you can't leave comments on videos. Um, but if you go there, you'll see the first video, Pumpkin Panic. And Pug has to... Buford, he got to go get Pug and save Halloween. And I think it's like four minutes long. And, but we're going to put the stories of our of our guys that we make. We're going to put their stories out there, and we're going to do some operations. And we're going to show, and then they're going to be for, good for kids. So some of you, I know a lot of you guys are old enough to have grandkids. And I made this so that, uh, um, you know, the goal of, of doing all this work and stuff is to run our trains. Uh, and some of you got you got like kids and grandkids that you would like to have that same passion for trains. So I made a channel to to excite, ex make you excited about uh, building model trains and running model trains and showing what you're doing, and that's what it's for. So if you go there, um, it's it just. There's just one video right now, but I think a couple times in a month, I'll add a new video, and they're set to kid-friendly, so that you can't leave comments or nothing. But, um, hey, if you guys wanted to wanted to show kids something, it's, it's kid-friendly, and they're going to be stories of the layout. And you get to see the layout and our characters here in action. In this first video, Pug is in action, and Dozer is in action. And they got to save Halloween. That's pretty good. Now, let's get back to gears. So, we have accumulated a ton of knowledge on gears. And we have more knowledge and, and skills with gears than you can actually look up online. And one of the things that we're running into, especially on brass locomotives, is this problem right here. Let's zoom in on this problem right there okay here's the problem as you can see there's a pitman motor right there there's a pitman you see that brass gear and you point them out see that uh that guy right there that brass gear the pitman motor has it, it's old i believe this is from 1968 or 67 according to the box and that gear is on a shaft that is bigger than the two millimeter shaft on our replacement motor, the uh, face ripper. Okay, and over here, we were able to make it work. Right there. That motor looks like a mess right now. But we made him work. He's on there. We made him work. We had to put in, as you can see there, very carefully, a thrust washer. We put in a thrust washer. And I had to wrap the end of it like I've got right here. I had to wrap the end of it with a bit of this uh, silver tape. See that? That was to get my 12 tooth gear to fit, to, to stay on there. Because this gear over here, that's a 12 tooth uh, brass gear. And to get it to match up to this system right here, I had to put a piece of tape on there to keep the gear on there. But I did not know when I did this that there's an alternative. And now I've got it. It's taken this long to get it, and now it's here. So now I'm going to show you. So here's a motor that has a piece of the silver tape wrapped around it. And here is a 12-tooth 0.5 modulus gear 
that I can fit on here and, I, and a little super glue would hold him and he'd be able to run this. That's not ideal. It's, it's good because it matches this gear perfect. But then I found out by accident, by accident, I found out something very important. Every single one of these 0.5 modular gears, which almost all, almost, almost all model train gears of any kind, anywhere, ever, are 0.5 modulus. And even like when you're working with lifelike and Bachman old crack gears and stuff, you count the teeth. You can buy a bag of gears like this as replacements because they're used in, currently they're used in like uh, people building robots and, and stuff like that. And, you know, there's a whole hobby around, around those kinds of things. There are two types of 12 tooth gears. I'm going to show you right here. Here they are. And that is my new, new pack of the new kind, which I'm going to have to keep separate from my gearbox. I'm going to have to start keeping these guys separate, but here they are. I marked the new one in green. And the old one has got the uh, marks on it to help me count the number of gears or number of teeth. Okay, there, there we go. Count the number of teeth. Here's the, here is the, here's the new one. Now there's a difference between these two. And the difference is this. Here is the old one. Okay, here's a two millimeter shaft, which is common on all the motors. The Rev1 motor has a two millimeter shaft, the 280, they all got the Rev1, or the, uh, Two millimeter shaft all the modern gears got two millimeter shaft okay so when i put this 12 tooth on here it spins freely we can't have it spin freely can we that's when i realized there are two there are two types because here's the new one it's also 12 tooth but it is hard to push on here that is a pinion gear now there are two styles of these gears and I ordered these off Amazon. Uh, I think they're called Tight Fit. 0.5 modulus, 12 tooth, Tight Fit. And that fits on there with Press Fit. And that's perfect. We don't even have to use thrust washer or nothing. This guy's perfect to replace that part right there. And we're going to do the same on it. We're going to rebuild this guy again. And we're going to put the new gear on there. The only thing we have to do is set the height, which is based on that little arm right there. That little arm will set the height, and I want this thing to be level, and this has got to be leveled a little bit better. And I'm going to want to use these new press fit gears. So there are two kinds of all 0.5 modulus gears, especially for pinions. There is the kind that spins around an axle that we might want to use inside of a let's say a gear tower for a truck like Ather, they those gears fit down onto a to an axle and they spin around it. That's this kind. But then there are the kind that uh, fit on a shaft nice and tight, so that they rotate with the shaft. And that's what we got now. It took uh, one month to get these, and now they're here. And I got a hundred of them. In one pack is like five bucks. And that's what we got. And that's where we are. We're about to do the second half, and we're going to rebuild the first half, the second half, and that's where we're at on the U50, and now we can really get down to business. We're going to be ready to um, get this guy wired up pretty quick. Hopefully a decoder will show up soon, and then we will be good to go. And then, again, if you guys want to, you can find my Champion City 194 channel. And that's just going to be, that's nothing but stories, which are set to kid-friendly, of our characters operating on the layout. Because if that's our goal, is to run these trains, I think one of the important things is to share it so that kids and new, and new guys and young guys and anybody gets excited about doing this hobby. Because what are we doing this for? We're not making these just to make them. I think we're making them because we really, really want to use them. And we want to see them in action. And it's all about the action. So that's what I made that other channel for. And now it's up and running, I'd say once a month or so. 
there's going to be something on there. All right, let's get to work.